It's a happy, happy Monday! Hey everybody! Even if you don't believe me and you don't think it's a happy Monday, hello and welcome! Massively overpowered television where we are bringing you some Elder Scrolls Online. Now, you may have been seeing some shenanigans going on with the schedule today because... Because I wasn't able to do SO last week. And so I stuffed it to afternoon today, but then I couldn't do afternoon streams, so I couldn't do two today. So now I end up displacing the other streams so I could still do SO today. <laughs> so here we are. So if you looked at the schedule three different times a day, you would have seen three different schedules. But um, this is what it is. This is what it's all set up for now. So hopefully now we can all just sit back. And relax because we've already found out all the, the hard stuff right we already did the hard stuff we found the cheating king the lion cheating traitorous king and um, yeah I guess we're just kind of in cleanup mode right you hope we <laughs> hope well I just realized I'm, I've been having so much fun just listening to the music I haven't logged in La 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 la. <laughs> Tra la 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 la. I forgot how long it takes. Tra la 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 la. I couldn't think of a good rhyme right there, so. Sorry. There we go. Yeah, we're... We're logging in, for real. For realsies! I've lost one of my hoodies in my house somewhere. I'm really sad, too, because it's my Rush hoodie. And I had it on, and then suddenly it's just not showing up anywhere. So now I'm in a skill shot hoodie. <laughs> I just noticed, except for Rush, all of my hoodies are games. They're all games and con related. <laughs> it's like, oh, here, I'll loan you a hoodie. Well, no, not this one. Oh, no, not this one. Either. Nope, I can't give you this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I gotta show you guys. I have lost a week. I know I missed these two days, but I gotta tell you, I don't even have any clue where these other five days went. I'm seriously losing days here. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else feels that way, but I do. This last two weeks have been... I know exactly where mine have gone. Oh, really? Fell from the sky. Ah. Crud, how'd I end up with... Oh. Ah, uh, it's because of all the... Yeah, all those boxes. Oh. oh, I had so many box from that last event. And then I opened them and ended up with all sorts of stuff. Wait a minute, how do I only have two terrier mammoth bones? I should have had three. And look at this, a bunch of these trebuchets, I should just get rid of them. It would have been cool to sell them to somebody who wants to use them, but... But I can't sell anything, so... Alright, should we just travel to every here? You have to send someone before it's too late.
Well, I finally got turned in my project that has been haunting me. Man, taking on a project and then immediately falling ill is not ideal. So when are you going to have to do live work again, Every? Do you think it's... You're just going to be able to keep back Person? this whole semester? Yeah. I don't know. One of these days, somebody will probably try to make me go back to work <laughs> on campus. But I don't know that it's going to be a while since I've done 100% of my job from home. They might not even bother to think about it. <laughs> He'll be like, what? We don't want to pay for him to have space or something. What? That would be the way I would feel about it if I yeah. was them. Save, save on hand sanitizer and all that stuff. I'm paying for my own electric, paying for my own HVAC, <laughs> I'm paying for my own internet. Ugh. I gotta remember what it even was. What was the last... Find Lyris and Fenorian. That sounds... Wait, so where are they at? There's a question. Just come to where I'm at. Well, I'm trying to see where even you're at. I mean, I traveled to you, but... There you are. Okay. Ah, inside the courtyard here. Okay. Didn't mean to get on my Indrith, but... Tell me truthfully, Lyris. How much of this blood is mine? Not enough to be worried about. How much of this blood is mine? Not enough to be worried about. Okay. <laughs> You did it. I shouldn't be surprised. But things were looking rather bleak before the clouds parted. We held the gate as long as we could. But the Harrow Fiends were a flood of claws and teeth. Once they burst through, Lyris cleaved through them like a scythe through wheat. But even she couldn't stem the tide. I... I'm not really sure. It kind of went wild. Let out my inner beast, as it were. <laughs> I was rending and slashing. Then Lyris whacked me with the flat of her blade. At least that's the last thing I remember. <laughs> the hour, but we survived. Whoa! Fenorian going wild. That would have been fun. Ah, uh, drunk monk. Couldn't answer that, because I couldn't answer a single thing about that other game for you, so... Um... I, I would say no, just because I say everything's better than that game, but... The Elixir is my next priority, of course. As long as the Harrowstorms are still a threat, we need a defense against them. After that, I want to examine the records we took from Greymore Keep. I still think there's a cure for the Harrowed in there. Sadly, I don't think there's any hope for them. Their life energy was sucked dry, turning them into feral beasts. Restoring them is beyond my capabilities, I'm afraid. At least with the Harrowed, they're not so far gone as to be a lost cause. As soon as we produce enough of it, yes. We saw how it protected Svana. Now, where did I put my flask? <laughs> A savage, wild Fenorian. So, is it over? What happened to Svargrim? And where's Svana? A parent's betrayal cuts deeper than a sword. But Svana's strong. Stronger than she's been given credit for. And Solitude's going to need that strength in the coming days. Sure, she can handle it. 
If you told me the tavern rat we met at the Lonely Troll would become my choice to lead this land, <laughs> I'd have called you mad. Then again, my king's a scald, so what do I know? Come on, <laughs> there's probably something productive we should be doing. Find out if everyone in the Hall of the Dead is all right. I'll make sure Castle Dower is secured. We did our best to hold the Harrow Fiends inside Castle Dower, but nothing short of stone walls were going to keep those monsters from pushing through. It seemed like everyone I killed was replaced by two more. Almost didn't. We were nearly overrun before Fen went wild. I've never seen him like that, snarling and showing what a true vampire can do. Took the Harrow Fiends by surprise and we routed them. I did have to thwack him to clear his head, though. <laughs> I just had to thwack him. <laughs> Oh. I have any additional? The sword thane gathered people oh. in the Hall of the Dead. Go check on them while I pull myself together. This whole ordeal has been a lot more strenuous than I'm accustomed to. Then I'll get to work on the elixir and the cure for the heron. Find out if everyone in the Hall of the Dead is all right. <laughs> Stop Make talking sure to me and go to the Hall of the Dead for crying out loud. <laughs> Anywhere else we can go in here? Oh, looks like pretty much just this little courtyard. I guess you can go to solitude that way, okay. Yeah, I still need to use the Sapphire Society disguise just to stop that from popping up all the time. Oh wait, was the Hall of the Dead up here? Yes, yes it was. To see you aren't raising bugs with Ismir just yet. We saw the storm break, but we heard nothing since you departed from Blackreach. Yarl! I regret we didn't throw a parade to welcome you back, but I'll cheer enough for a hundred souls if you tell me you put that backbiter of a high king to the sword. But what of Svana? Is she? That's good. But a daughter shouldn't have to kill her own father. Svana has my support, for whatever that's worth. She's going to need all the help she can get in the days to come. Not until we hold a moot to support her claim, and we need more than a single Jarl for that to occur. If Svana proves herself as the acting Jarl, she might look past her father's failings and make her the queen, eventually. We can settle the matter of the crown when there's kingdom enough to rule. What remains of the holds are still ravaged by the harrow storms, and I doubt we've seen the last of the Grey Host, for that matter. None good, but none bad either. My wife knows better than anyone how to care for our people. I trust she and my thanes protect and care for Morthal in my absence. Ah, look at me, I am proud man. With nipple chains. <laughs> We seem to have survived, thank the gods. I thought for certain we were all about to witness the end of the world. No thanks to Svargrim, damn his eyes. After you and the princess went off to Blackreach, I gathered whoever we could and made our stand here in the Hall of the Dead. I'm just glad we don't have to be permanent residents. Far fewer than I feared when the storm began. Thanks to you and the princess, with the storm over and the Grey Host driven from Castle Dower, my soldiers will get the city back into shape. As long as no one else attacks us in the meantime. They're here! They're at the gates! The Grey Host? I thought we were done with them for now. Not the Grey Host! The Scold King! With an army from the east! What treachery is this? Through the gates. We'll give the Skull King a proper welcome. One way or another. 
<laughs> Rich men from the west, packed from the east, monster from below. This city's cursed. Well, come on, who doesn't want a cursed city? May Arcade drive back the darkness forevermore. Yeah, okay. No one else worth talking to? No. I must be cursed. I pray that cool heads prevail. Hot blood and rash action will not benefit anyone. All right. Well, so much for wrap up. <laughs> To the gates. I'm rather busy right now. Orcs. They say aren't fighting, they're fighting about fighting. Seeking a reliable research <coughs> Little to no fear of death. <laughs> the little to no fear of death. <laughs> Down, you idiots! We come in peace. Partner, could really use your knack for diplomacy right now. Speak to the Skull King before we start a war. Sure, save me from fools and prophets. Will no one properly greet a weary traveler? Sure, I will. I don't think you're very weary, but. A oh, familiar face. Maybe you can talk some sense into these Western milk drinkers. We're not a damn invasion. We're here to help. Do you know what's going on? So the rumors are true. Svargrim joined the Grey Host. I knew he had ambitions, but to throw away his humanity like that. This guy sounds like he's still drunk. <laughs> Svargrim once told me that he would die before welcoming me to solitude. I suppose he was right. <laughs> That's why I sent Lyris here in the first place. I'm not the king of these holds, though. I can't do anything if they refuse my help. Svargrim despised me. He would never accept my aid. But Svarna... Ah, here she comes now. Let's see what she has to say. We have no need of help that involves welcoming your soldiers within our walls. My walls, Yaro. My father may have been willing to slap aside the helping hand, but I'm not. Permit me a word with your envoy, Skald King. No, no! I didn't get a chance to talk to this guy. He doesn't have the thing over his head anymore. Whoops. Yeah, you gotta talk. If it's optional, you have to talk to them first. I haven't seen Princess Fana since we were children. She's changed much since those days. Oh, somebody got a crush? I saw her once, a long time ago. There was some brief moment in my childhood where it seemed like reconciliation between our homelands seemed possible. Might have been a dream. It vanished just as quickly. I didn't even pay attention to what was optional or not. I was just talking. I think it wasn't long after my father became High King. I only remember a foggy day of children's games with the princess. A joyless feast and a swift departure. It might have gone differently if our parents joined us making castles in the snow. Ah. Whoops, I put on the disguise. Don't mind me. Maybe we are being We've been seeing enemies around every corner for so long, we don't know what an ally looks like anymore. The moment of truth. Let's see how Svana handles herself with the Skull King. All right, Svana. Thank you for holding the line, Emil. I'm ready to do what I should have done a long time ago. To do what my father never could. I'll speak with the Skald King. There's one more thing I'd like you to do while I entertain our guests. We saved Solitude. 
but our war with the Grey Host is far from over. We need Fen's elixir more than ever. With that, and King Yorin's help, we might just push these monsters back into their grave for good. Check on Fen's progress, please. That depends on Fen. If there's anything standing in his way, let me know, and I'll do everything in my power to get him what he needs. Fen is with old Mjolin at the Mages Guild. When you're finished with him, join me in the courtyard of the Blue Palace. I'm going to hold a moment of remembrance for this city. We all need a moment to mourn what we lost. I'm going to invite the Scald King to join us. If the people of Solitude see him bow his head along with the rest of us, they may not care about the divide between the East and West. She just gonna stand there. Not I should really talk with the Scald King. I trust you can handle Svana's request without me. So you gonna talk about Svana more? I was not expecting Princess Svana to be so <laughs> demanding. I'd heard. Well, I'm glad that not all the rumors I've heard about the state of solitude are true. <laughs> Did the princess say something about an elixir? Windhelm will provide whatever resources are necessary to produce as much of an elixir as possible. <laughs> he totally still sounds drunk. Did the princess say something? Uh, I was trying to see if anybody else was speakable. Clasping arms with Easterners. There's been enough death for one day. in here and just chat with so everybody. To bow our heads with the Skull King. Perhaps the poet's prepared a dirge. <laughs> ben is with old Mjolin at the Major's Guild. Okay, okay. Now everybody's just repeating themselves. Old Major's Guild, huh? Don't mind me running around in a black cloak with a blue uh, mask. Obviously, I'm totally not suspicious. Not suspicious at all. Mm, that's not the Mages Guild. around here somewhere. Oh. I like that I'm carrying my own mini sun around with me. Let's see, up or down? Um, down. Oh, you're the one that advanced it then. Sorry. No, that's okay. It advanced, and then this strange guy started walking towards me, and it's like, talk to him. And I'm like, mm, I don't think so. Ingenious. A rare thing to find an elf with the makings of a clever woman. Despite what my kin might proclaim, it's not all in the blood. Ah, good, you're here. We've made a breakthrough. A breakthrough, huh? What have we broken? Ooh, let's see what she has to say first. I have seen many things in my time, but never could I have predicted I would soon train adepts of the Mages Guild in the arts of my ancestors. This is an institution of elves. They know nothing of the soul of the world. Here, magic is a thing to be measured and weighed. Mages know. They do not feel. Necessity and the hope they can learn. If we're to brew enough elixir for everyone in the kingdom, it will take all the herb grinders in the holds. 
Here at least they know how to use a mortar and pestle. <laughs> she said herb grinders. Ah! Painful! <laughs> I was just discussing a theory with Mjolin, and it seems like we're very close to turning this elixir into a true restorative. Ooh, sounds good. A cure. Singolus's research on the nether root showed me just how it weakens the connection between a body and its soul. Thus far, I've been able to inure a person to the root, but now I'm certain I can use that knowledge to heal those weakened bonds. Well, it is just a theory at this point. There's a lot more testing and experimentation to be done before we can produce a viable antidote. Weeks, optimistically? I know, I know. We can't simply put things on hold. Mjoland and I have a batch brewing right now, and materials to keep producing for another day. Ingert's promised us a steady supply of Arke's oil, but that's not our limiting factor. We know enough about Singolus's refinement processes to replicate his methods, but we still need a source of netherroot to do so. Tell Svana that if she can keep us supplied, we can produce enough elixir for all the holds in a matter of weeks. We can ransack Greyhost stockpiles, or mount an expedition into Blackreach. Otherwise, it would take decades of work to produce a proper crop. After we get the elixir squared away, we'll turn our attention to curing the Herald. Indeed. As I surmised, the Grey Reliquaries contained the remains of ancient Greyhost warriors. They served as a connection to the souls trapped in Cold Harbor. Using the energy from the Harrow Storms, the souls were pulled into the Stone Husks. I believe the Stone Husks are incubators of a sort. The physical forms of the Grey Host are reincorporated within the Stone Vessels through a mix of Zingolus's alchemy and sorcery and the magic of the Ice Reach Witches. When whole, they are burst free. Hmm, that sounds interesting. They're basically cocoons. Darn pet. You look so fancy there, Every Holy cow. Your hair is all super done up. You're in a fancy dress. Took you long enough. Well, I saw it earlier, but now's the time I can stop and admire. Not doing your maid's outfit anymore, your, your or your barmaid's outfit. No, since everybody was getting a barmaid, it sort of made it superfluous. <laughs> you didn't think people would be able to tell you apart from their uh, <laughs> house pets? <laughs> All right. Oh, now to the courtyard. Plus, it's a nice dress. Oh, it is a nice dress. I, uh, should be, we should take this off, but. Oh, someone named Farwin. Oh, hey, Freewin. Mother always told me stories of growing up in solitude, but I never expected it to feel like this. All these people and buildings are so close together. How does anyone live here without feeling trapped? Our little ice princess. As funny as it is to say, out of place. I spent so long in exile. I'm happy to be home. Mother has been so kind to me, but there is so much I need to mend with her, with my father. But I'm here, thanks to you. We all are, as I hear. Priest Bavian. After everything I've seen, I can no longer place my faith in Meridia. But I refuse to abandon my friends. We will attempt to seal the temple and purge the corruption. If it were up to me, I would leave it in ruins. Oh, the prince again. The people appear apprehensive of our presence here, but no one has voiced their dissent. 
That's reassuring. Ah, uh, they're usually pretty loud mouths, so. <laughs> A Scald King welcome to the Blue Palace with open arms? Svargrin would be spinning in his grave if he had one. Talk to all the people. I'm not the Jarl you need to speak to. The longer you keep Svana waiting, the more anxious this crowd is. <laughs> Stop wasting time! You're waiting for Svana, and she's waiting for you. Go and talk to her. <laughs> Surely the gods sent you to Western Skyrim. May RK grant you the strength to strike down every last one of those fiends of the Grey Host. Praise the divines for sparing solitude. I have enough souls to mourn today. Can't not talk to the people. Did My you talk friend, to the orc at the back? So much for not the yet. Of Western Skyrim. I fear it is a debt that can never be repaid. I'm bringing Freywin back to us. You will always have my thanks. Freywin's return is a blessing. Some have just taken longer to understand that. Sadly, there are no balms for broken trust. Yeah, her orky friend. Where? Oh, he's way back there! And he's drunk. Mom. The only proper thing to do at a memorial service is drink to the memory of the lost. I'm not sure we have enough stock for all that. <laughs> Work. As soon as we heard the news, Claudina insisted we come to offer. Oh wait, no, here you go. As soon as we heard the news, Claudina insisted we come to offer whatever aid we could. Once again, you have proven yourself to be incredibly brave and downright fearless. If there's anything I can do to help, just ask. Claudina seems intent on going back to Blackreach. After we help the poor people of this place rebuild, we'll head there. Spirits may not have been the culprits of what happened in Dusktown, but that doesn't mean they aren't down there. What? The person you just talked to? Not on my screen. Really? Did you never help them down there yourself? Down where? Down in Blackreach when we did their ghosty quests? Um, I may not have done some of the side quests. I'm pretty sure we ran that one together, but okay. I think I got everybody. Wait, where are you, Svana? Actually, I can't quite see you. Spawn is on the other side oh, of the wall. Oh, there we are. Oh, I can't jump over the wall. I was hoping you'd return before we began. Tell me you've got good news. I feel a lot better delivering a speech about healing and hope, knowing that we're on the road to recovery. What did Fen have to say about the elixir? Not the best news, but I'll take it. So long as we have enough to protect our soldiers, we have a fighting chance against the Grey Host. I'll go to the Undergrove myself, if that's what it takes. Now that would be cause for celebration. If he can really bring back even a fraction of those we lost to the Hero Storms, I'm willing to try. That's all I needed to hear. We should begin the ceremony before the crowd grows more restless. Nothing fancy, just a traditional Nord wake. To mourn and celebrate those we've lost, and cherish the lives we still have. I'd like you to join us. None of us would be here to sing dirges for the dead or celebrate the living if not for you. I certainly wouldn't be here, ready to leave my hold. You've supported me since I started down this path. I'm honored to have you here at the end. Completed Sons and daughter of, of Skyrim. Oh, time to listen. We have the honor today of remembering the dead. Honor to the fallen! Sons and daughters of Skyrim, our trials were fierce, but we are still here. We stand and we remain. Now, we raise our voices to tell Sovngarde of the coming of the worthy dead, and to tell the world that the Nords are still here. We are still standing! The fallen now march home to hallowed hall To join our ancestors in boundless drink and song and brawls 
Let sound the horns, let peal the bells, let loose the ancient hymn. We will remain until time ends, we children of Skyrim. <laughs> cool. Didn't know we were going to get a concert. And now everything's done. I guess we can just still talk to people. Princess Jarl Swana reminds me more of the Queen every passing moment. We're in good hands, I think. I'll pledge myself to her if she'll have me. I was fool enough to follow Svargrim as long as I did. So it's more than I deserve. He did, but I was by his side day in and day out. If anyone should have seen what he was becoming and put a stop to it, it was me. I owe a lot to Solitude for my failure. If Svana allows me to repay it, I'll be glad. So we do the whole run and chat to everybody I again. I had a moment to honor the fallen of Morthal since you came to my doorstep. Kind willing, they made their passage to Sovngarde. When things are settled here, Jarl March has weathered these storms better than Hafingar and Karthal. If we can keep the kingdom from complete collapse, it's worth a few weeks away from my home and hearth. We made it through, if barely. When the clouds began to gather over Castle Dower, I feared I'd have to witness. Thank you for stopping it. I don't know that my heart could bear another Karth watch. The rest of Carthold fared as poorly as its capital. The hold has been laid to waste, its people dead or scattered. With so few left to rebuild and resettle, I fear the Reachmen will come to claim it long before the Nords set roots there again. I have already pledged myself to Svana. I will serve as her court mage. I hope to counsel her better than I did Jarl Olfwen. For now, I've used my status in the Mages' Guild to solicit their aid in producing the Harrowstorm Elixir. It's at this point that I'm, like, regretting not talking to more people all the time during and after quests. My friend, you have done so much for the holds of Western Skyrim. I fear it is a debt that can never be repaid. And bringing Freywin back to us, you will always have my thanks. I mean, they don't always change their dialogue after things, but a good bunch of them do, and it's crazy. Mother always told me stories of growing up in solitude. Oh, I already talked to her. Is the priest any different? After everything I've seen. Nope. I could not have said it better myself. Princess Vanna will make a fine ruler. Of course, some may choose to blame her for her father's misdeeds, but I will seek forgiveness from them. There have been enough divisions of blood and feuding. It is a new day. This is a time to mend rifts and forge new bonds. All right, we got to go see whether her friend has something more to say here. We all lost someone today. A comrade, a father, a friend. I'm fortunate enough to have gained a good leader at least. Well, we all have. Who do you take me for? It'd be smirch my reputation to abandon a kingdom in such desperate need of cheer. Mog does not leave a place <laughs> less joyful than he finds it. I'll be coordinating morale efforts from the lonely troll if you need me. <laughs> I'll be doing morale efforts from the bar. <laughs> oh, I never did talk to Claudine, did I? Bastards who did this. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to make them pay for it. But we're done chasing ghosts below ground for now. We're here to help however we can. Once we help the people of Solitude get back on their feet, I imagine we'll go back to Blackreach. Though our initial investigation didn't reveal anything supernatural, there is still much to uncover and explore. I do not believe our work here is over. 
As soon as we heard the news, Clausina insisted we come to offer whatever aid we could. Once again, you have proven yourself to be incredibly brave. I love how she looks sideways when she's like, proven yourself to be incredibly brave. I can't think of a more fitting send-off for my father than lords of both kingdoms mourning side by side. Skyrim may be divided, but at least our honored dead are united in Sovngarde. I... I don't know. It's not important. Not right now. What matters is rallying the people against the enemy. Our real enemy. If that means seeking the crown, then I'll do what needs to be done. Sovngarde is a place for the honored dead. Svagrim gave up his seat in the Hall of Valor when he made his pact with the Ashen Lord. Wherever he is, I hope he regrets how he got there. Joran, Redharn, and I need to form a plan to distribute Fen's elixir and push back against the Grey Host. And require more Netherroot, it seems. There's a lot to be done, but I'm surrounded by good people. I trust we'll get through this together. I can't leave everything to you, you know. Well, I probably could. But even Isgrimor took a rest now and again. Let us shoulder the burden for a while. I'm sure I'll need to call on you again soon enough. Alright. Let's talk to these guys, then Lyris. My heart goes out to these people. We are no strangers to conflict back east. But none of our holds have been ravaged by the kind of devastation brought by the Grey Host. We are fortunate that you stopped them. So I've heard. The princess has come a long way from the girl I met so long ago. And I've changed as well. I'm not quite as obnoxious and close-minded as I was when my father first formed the Ebonheart Pact. At least I try not to be. If the princess remains in charge of the Western Holds, I think the chances of true reconciliation are good. My father will certainly do everything he can to make that happen. And so will I. Princess yeah, Anna, no, he doesn't sound like he's crush gushing on her at all, does he? Woman. <laughs> he's crushing! In their own way, the people of Western Skyrim are as strong as the Nords of the East. Even after so much suffering, they still stand against the howling wind. We shall do everything within our power to help them recover. Blood alone does not make one worthy to rule a hold, let alone an entire kingdom. The princess will leave for now, but many questions must be answered before the Jarls crown a new ruler of solitude. That's what a moot is for. Today, no, now the time isn't right. As for the future, who can say? Svargrim was never interested in finding a path to reconciliation. Princess Svana isn't a father, that much is clear. So I suppose I can hope. Uh, if Princess Svana agrees, I want to bring more of my people from Eastmarch to help restore solitude and the Western Holds. My retinue is too small to deal with everything. We need more hands. All I can do is to offer my aid in good faith. Whether they decide to grab my hand or to slap it away, that's up to them. Despite our differences, I love this land. It's as I much love Skyrim this land. as my beloved Eastern holds. I would not see it suffer. All right, and I think that leaves oh, just these two to talk to. Princess Yorl Swan. Oh, nope. Already done that. Did I talk to I him? Had a moment to honor the oh, nope. Morthos talk to him. Alright. We end with Lyris. With our lovely, lovely Lyris. Wait, let's go this way. Get my pet behind me. Get a good final picture of Lyris. I'm glad to be done with this. Diplomacy and investigation aren't my favorite pastimes. They seem to suit you, though. You stepped up to the task better than I could have hoped. I'll be staying so long as Joran's here. 
or until I can persuade him to send me after Rada al Saran. That leech owes a lot of blood to us, and I intend to squeeze it out of him. We have to find him first. Whatever his plans were after sacking Solitude, we haven't uncovered them. With any luck, the Skull King will send me on a raid of the Grey Host, and I can beat some answers out of a few of them. <laughs> oh, Lyris is so fun. Count on it. <laughs> All right. Ta-da! And that, my friends, is the end of Greymore. And in a month? No, not in a month. And geez, a couple weeks? We get to start the prelude to Gates of Oblivion. I guess I can work on a side quest now. This darn disguise that I'm still doing. <laughs> or treasure hunting. Maybe I should finish this one so I could just like not have this pop up every single time. <coughs> a sword of solitude. Of course I'm going to add that to my sets. You're being kind of vicious in your pretty dress there. I'm practicing with your fighter drone. Oh, are you? <laughs> He's my little black hole son. I love him. Hey, Deviant. Forgot to say hello to you. What do you mean, good morning? It's not morning yet. I hope. Turns out it's impossible to hit. Ah. Uh, you're not that bad. You're just saying it's impossible to hit, right? I'm saying the force is not with me. <laughs> All right. All right. Let's go gain entry to the auction. Now, if we come back, is it going to look different in here? Or is this pretty much how it's going to look now? I would imagine it will look different, but I'm not positive. All right. Nope. I mean... I hadn't left yet. Oh, you hadn't left yet? Okay. Okay. I'll leave, see if it like resets or something. I guess this is the more permanent look now. Mm, that doesn't make any sense, but sure, why not? Sure, they're all gonna stand out there and or you can come in here and talk to Svan and everybody again. I can't think of a more fitting send off for my father than Lords of Bolt. Okay, that is creepy. Obviously they came in with me and ran ahead. <laughs> okay, yeah, that is kind of creepy. All right, let's let's go to the auction. I don't even remember what this quest thing is. I'm supposed to be infiltrating. That's all I remember. Shoot, if there's anything I'm supposed to remember. <laughs> Pretty sure I'm. Like, please write in the right answer. <gasps> Was this the one that had like a um, like? Special saved us all. And one of them was an eastern half giant. Oh ah. People out here are different convos now. Oh, I think there was like a secret password or something and I 
Sure as heck I'm not remembering it. We'll have to see. Wake. <laughs> yep, okay. Welcome and enter. Woo! I actually remembered it! It's only been many months. <laughs> oh. Alright. Crud, let's There we go. Ooh. Mint tea. Bread, mushrooms. saying is if the yard doesn't realize he's still paying double regular price then who am i to tell him excuse me you're interrupting my conversation oh and have someone clean up this wine <laughs> do you know what i wish to see come up for sale an item that demonstrates who the true rulers of solitude are something like a jarl's ring finger Demanding you pay taxes looks foolish when you have one of those on a chain around your neck. Well, these are interesting conversations. You know, as great as it is to be here to acquire some of these incredibly rare items, the excitement of being here in disguise is half the fun. You'd be quite shocked to find out what I'm wearing under these robes. <laughs> Probably I nothing. I swear if I hear one more let's have a peek behind your mask innuendo, I'll kill someone. Oh, he sounds so. I'm biding my time. I think the broker has something truly magnificent for the finale, like a dragon horn or a snow elf statue. Ha! With the broker, who knows? Did I overbid that last auction? Ah. This is so thrilling. I can't wait to see the next offer. So thrilling. That white mammoth Thriller. certainly has quite a bit of interest. So glad I won. They're so rare. Let's just hope the broker didn't cover a brown mammoth in talcum powder. <laughs> oh, why am I worried? The broker never lets us down. The decrees from the Blue Palace are simply absurd. Investigating transfers of suspected stolen property? Who cares where someone got it? If I want it and they have it, I should be able to buy it. <laughs> ah, it didn't sound like a whole bunch of spoiled rich nobles, right? Yeah. Put a little mustache on him, we can be like, remember, remember. If you want to see our next item, You'll have to wait like everyone else. No private previews. You should know the rules. But believe me, you'll want to stick around for this one. It's a head turner. The loot? Nice patina. Just a trifle I came across in one of my hunts. It went on the block earlier. Too bad you weren't here then. There was only one buyer. A little bidding war would have warmed up the crowd. Now I do wish you had been here. You are skirting the rules. No revealing identities of buyers. Still, if you had arrived on time, you would know that the buyer behaved like an obnoxious ass. Yeah, we typically frown upon stumbling about from drink. Ha! Huh. Ah. Uh, it would be this one. Oh, look, another marked person. How dreary. If a state comes back on the block, don't you outbid me. When else will I get to try Argonian? 
I hear they're all flavor and no fat. Ha! Instrument. Oh, that lute. Yes, a mantelpiece for my music room. Has a nice shine to it. I acquired it for a song. A song! I made a joke, see? <laughs> ah! Why are you asking? Disappointed I bought it? Then too bad for you. Uh, I don't know how much money I have. <laughs> Am I supposed to buy it? I don't recall. Oh, well, the other one turns red if I do it. Does that mean I'm bad? I'm sure I have enough, right? Oh yeah, I have enough. Okay. Best? What instrument? Oh, that lute. Yes, a mantelpiece for my music room. Has a nice shine to it. Perhaps by the window that looks out. Oh! <gasps> Watching those sappy antiquarians rave over dusty. No. Whatever. It better be done by the time I return home or I'll whip those lazy servants. Wait, so my only option now is to steal it? Yeah? What's that? Oh no, okay. Ah! <laughs> Every, have you done this one? Has the auction started? Yep. Oh, dash it all. Which one did you pick? I ain't saying. No, I want to hear, audience. <laughs> Y'all want to hear, right? I mean, it's not like you have to sneak up and steal. No wonder one of the options turned red. I still haven't quite gotten the, the gist of that, but. And the main reason is I can't remember. <laughs> oh my goodness, chat. Do you think I should buy it or should I steal it? If I steal it, will I not be allowed back in here? Chat's too quiet tonight. Has it been a very Monday Monday? It is always a Monday Monday. <laughs> Forget Manic Monday, you could just say, Just another Monday Monday. Oh, so I don't know. <coughs> it's not like she'll know who I am. Because I'm in a mask. But am I the kind of person to steal, or should I just buy it? Yeah, Hexadian, some Mondays are Mondayer than others. I'm, I'm curious as to what the difference would be. Like, I, I already know what I want to do for this, this person, for who my person is anyway. But, so it's called orchestrations, huh? I'm going to go see what the other one does. Let's go see. Oh, all it says is either bribe or steal.
Oh, okay. I, I, my character is not a thief, unlike Larry. Larry steals everything. Alright. treasure from my servant outside please do business with me again <laughs> so well i was wondering how i'd like pickpocket her if it happens but turns out that you have to go to our house and steal it which probably also means not getting caught and i try not to steal things because i'm not larry Thought about stealing from the jewel case behind Swano while she was given the right thing. <laughs> I mean, normally I don't spend money for things, but I didn't. I didn't want to steal. Not that this person knew, would know who I was or anything, but. Find the servant. How do you know which servant's going to be theirs? It'll be the one with the quest marker over its head. Oh, I know, but I mean normally. Yes. Perhaps you seek this one's mistress. She is busy, not to be disturbed. What is this scrap you give Mazal Kira? Well, this is her handwriting. This one thinks she has been drinking again, selling things she just bought. Of course, Mazal Kira does not steal, even if she... <laughs> Even her servant thinks I should have gone and stolen it. <laughs> All right, back to the Bard's College. See, it was beneficial stopping and talking to uh, everybody in that one. Oh, there we go. There's the door. You've returned. Have you brought back the Petra loop? Will my fingers glide over its gentle curves once more? Ah, Petra loop returns home. You know, I wooed my first love with this very loot, and my third as well. Thus begins the restoration of the college's famed collection to its former greatness. The history books will remember you for this. I assembled the museum for just this moment, but I think you deserve the honor of placing Petra Loop on its podium. After you display the loot, perhaps you could read Nell's hidden logs. I could use your skill in recovering the other instruments. All right. Sorry, I want to see the names of all the different things we'll be collecting. Alright, now I need to actually... Oh, it's the very first one. Oh. Ah, wonderful! I left a copy of Nell's Hidden Loves on the table there. Have a look. You who quibble, disagree, take sides, relics of song, enciphered here hide. Bard's legend first, I keep it with me. It is important, true, though worn lovingly. Oh, it's import. 
Ha! Fanger, go! The hilt of a blade. Jade shadows hide. Magnificent caves. At Western Mine, a long storehouse march. Dragged across two holds. Steady an arch. Great creature's home. West Dist of Western. North Frost Grotto. Frigid sequestered. Hallmarch of Yall holds court above all. Sturry Nord graves. A maze of cold walls. Towers that lower bear weight of great tales. Following sleep, the sea, this one sails. So each one of these lines, right, is a hint of to the different ones we have to go get. I believe so. Can I pull this up and read it again, or am I going to have to, like, take pictures? I believe it's always there. Carthal, turn winds, watching Jarl's foes fall upon south, brisk breezes, freeze toes. Then to the dark, the dwimmer does take, empty falls light, a waterfall's break. Sunset and dark, miners do covet, a junk heap's gem, lord churns above it. Towers do form from fungus that grow, deep keep above and lava below. Okay, the big fungus down in Blackreach, so there we go, there's one down there, there's a keep above it we finally went to that keep was there lava in that keep down there i don't really recall that that was something down somewhere oh my goodness so solving these and finding the various instruments is definitely one thing you can do now we already found the harp did he find the harp in a cave down there? Or is it one of the grottos? <laughs> I don't even remember. So I could go to one of these and figure, try to figure it out and go find the piece and, and it'll be one I already have in here. That would be so unfair. It would, you know, seem par for the course with the kind of luck I have with some things, but. So how many have you found? Um, not very many. I just pick them up as I go. Uh, yeah, I've got this, the dizzy, the harp. There was one more. Oh, here we go. Oh no, that isn't one of them. That's just sitting there. Wait, a Leviathan thorn horn? Okay. That sounds like the one that would be in the sea. The sea hints. Of course, there's two Jarl things in here. Wonderful. Look at the proud Petro loop in its proper place once more. And we're a step closer to undoing Nell's folly. But there are many other priceless instruments lost somewhere out in the world. They need to come home. Oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Wonderful. Yes, indeed. Let the clues within Nell's hidden loves guide the way. As you travel through Skyrim, keep your eyes open. And your ears, too. These are instruments we're pursuing after all. If you find more of them, I'll be here. Ah, yes, I see you have. I commend your dedication to the arts. When all the instruments rest in their proper places, I will compose an epic, an adventurer's triumph to celebrate. You will <laughs> star in it, naturally. Of course it will be. We will use the instruments too. They should be revered, yes, but used for special occasions. But first, more instruments. You'll have expenses. Let me weigh you down with some gold before you go. Oh, dancers' leggings, part of the winter's respite set. Oh, I need two spaces, apparently.
At some point I should do something with, like, I have a bunch of writs. Alright, I'm gonna come back and put a couple things in your bank, your bank first. Just that way. Not the way I'm going. <laughs> the other way I'm going. So next time with Greymore over, um, in one week, it won't be done yet. I mean, the, uh, blah, 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 blah. The flames of anticipation or <laughs> flames of something. The flames will not be here yet as of next week. So unless we bump our schedule a little bit. Which maybe we should actually do that. Just kind of change our thing up a little bit so that we can. Ugh, my colleague brought in fish to eat again. How many times do I have to tell her? Sorry, I simply can't. Would you care to deposit or withdraw something? Me. Oh, no, next week would work because it's supposed. To... Oh, no, it comes on the 8th, so it would be in two weeks. So yeah, we can just go back to the, uh, just flop the schedule for a little bit. Go ahead and do Path of Exile next week instead of SO. And... Oh, what happened? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I Who can't... Who the guild? I don't know. Maybe somebody, like, got rid of a character or something. Whoops, I was just putting the two together so that I could, um, you know, uh, sorry, that's, that's totally distracting so I could make a, a pile out of them. Um, yeah, you'll just have to hold on to them until, yeah, I guess. Enjoying the hospitality of our fair. All right, for right now, I'll, I'll stuff them in my bank bank so that I don't. For a moment, I wasn't even thinking that I was on the guild one, and for a second, I'm like, I'm not high enough level to deposit in my, you know, <laughs> I said, what? I don't get it. Oh, wait, let's go to materials here. Wow. Oh, now I gotta go all the way back to Bard's College. And I'm going the wrong way again. Totally on purpose, of course.
help out a poor soul? Petraloop is just the start of your noble journey. Once you collect all the instruments, I will stage an epic, an adventurer's triumph. Of course it will be. We will use the instruments too. They should be <laughs> So I get 282 of the 680 I spent. You'll have ex As you fill the museum, <laughs> bards from all over will make their way to solitude. Keep working on the clues in Nell's poem. Once we have all the instruments collected, the performance can begin. With the clues in Nell's hidden loves and the return of Petroloop, word will travel fast among bards. I hear the vibrations among students, members, and alumni of the college already. <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> Certainly. It will likely open a new dialogue about our legendary instruments, should they return in good order. You began something truly great here. Maestros that were once enemies have already started talking to each other again. Ah, yes, you may not be so familiar with the structure here. Maestros are the faculty of the Bard's College, Master Bards. The head maestro manages the college as a whole. Currently, that is Catrell Giorek. Uh. Probably get a better picture if I go from a different angle. Boudica le Hiruru. <laughs> Somebody's name here. I guess today we're not really gonna today is not the day for treasure hunting but I did finally finish this so I stopped getting that use disguise use disguise use disguise guys guys all that use disguising that I couldn't uh, get away from <laughs> so I guess oh wait well oh he's spiky maestro f f snort if you're aware of the current bardic schism stranger you might have formed an opinion mine i believe that maestro beatrix makes a good case for preserving bardic heritage i just hope bizarre doesn't get mad at me for not siding with her well, you know, <laughs> you're just sitting there drinking, flinging your glass around. <laughs> uh, oh, don't want to sit near me, I see. What are you pointing about, dude? <laughs> oh, I think this is where we're going to call it, guys, actually. So we did finish up all of Greymore, and yes, that was a longer bit than I thought. Thought the little tidy wrap-up thing was going to be a little bit shorter, but but I'm glad it wasn't. And I'm glad that I sat there and and spoke with people before and after. It's it's fun to actually see their their dialogues change according to what's going on. So that was fun, especially the guy who's got the crush on Savannah. <laughs> He was amusing. <laughs> All right, so I think we've got it planned that <clears throat> we're going to swap up the schedule a little bit and we'll go ahead and instead of tomorrow, actually, I thought I was going to do it tomorrow, but um, I don't know. I might still do a Path of Exile tomorrow afternoon because it feels bad losing a whole week, but... I think we'll do that. We'll plan on we'll plan on Elder Scrolls in two weeks again.
instead of next week. Of course, watch, they'll delay the launch or something and then, and then we'll be stuck. But <laughs> so we are set and ready for the next and Gates of Oblivion will be the next story happening. Woo! Where we all get to just go to hell. Yay! <clears throat> With that, everybody, thank you so much for coming and joining us today on MassiveOP.com's Twitch streaming channel of OPTV. Ah! If you want to keep up on the news as to what is going on, in in Elder Scrolls Online Universe. Be sure to check it out on MassivelyOP.com. And if you... Oh, hi, it's Lava. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're late. <laughs> but there's the link. If you give me about 10 minutes, then we will actually have the game embedded there for you, the stream. And you can watch it at your leisure. And you can just talk to me as if I'm there talking to you. It's fine. I've seen people actually do that and try to respond and get mad at me that I don't actually respond back to them, but that's a whole nother story. <laughs> Read up on Elder Scrolls on the Gates of Oblivion that's coming up. Of course, more information keeps coming out. And in two weeks, the Prelude DLC will be happening with two dungeons. And oh, we should probably be able to check those out. We'll have to see. I no longer just trust that things will work out because the universe has really been messing with me lately. But that is the plan. And of course, you can read up on all sorts of other games uh, while you're waiting. And maybe throw yourself into a podcast or two and a streams and giveaways, all sorts of stuff. So right there on the site. Thank you all so much for coming because your support is what keeps us doing this. And we want to keep doing this. I want to keep doing this. So <laughs> be sure you all have a safe and wonderful Monday and I look forward to seeing you next time. So take care, be well, and we'll talk to you later, everybody.